take a look at all this delicious looking food. Who would ever guess that you can eat these meals and lots more just like them and watch the pounds just melt away. Today, discover a diet based on biblical principles where you can lose up to 14 pounds in just 10 days on Jewish Voice. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice, a program to help you to understand the Jewish roots of your Christian faith, Bible prophecy, and world events surrounding Israel. There are thousands of diets out there, but today I'm going to tell you about one that's different from all the rest, a diet that's based on biblical principles that originated with a young Jewish boy who instead of eating the king's delicacies, asked to consume only foods that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob had blessed. A diet, our guest claims, can help you lose up to 14 pounds in just 10 days. Here to tell us about this breakthrough diet, health expert and New York Times best-selling author, Jordan Rubin. Jordan. Hey, brother, welcome back. It's good to be here. on the program. I have to tell you, for this one, I'm all ears. I'm really listening to what you have to say. Now, you believe that this diet is blessed by God. You say that. Can you explain that I do. To this, us? Is, this is really the Jewish roots of our diet. And it's pretty amazing that Daniel, who so many look up to for obvious reasons, but Daniel was a health expert. Daniel, Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they decided when they were amongst the leading young men of all Babylon, that they would follow God instead of following the world. And the results, according to scripture, were astounding. They looked better. They felt better. They had more energy. It was obvious that they were different. And all the young men ended up following the diet that was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's great recommendation. And I decided to take 2,700 years of wisdom that's been kept in secret and bring it to the world. And we call it the Maker's Diet Revolution. And thousands have already benefited with incredible results. You make a claim that you can lose quite a bit of weight on the Maker's Diet Revolution. How, how much weight? Well, the average female lost just over eight pounds and the average male, 14 and a half pounds in the first 10 days. Ten, and they were eating 10 a days. lot of food. Not a fad diet not this quick fix. It's an old fix. But <laughs> it's a very old fix. Now, not, you say not only can you lose weight, but I love the statement, increase your wisdom and understanding. What do you mean by that? Well, Daniel and his three friends not only had greater countenance, they called it fatness of flesh. That didn't mean being overweight. That meant rosy cheeks. That meant that healthy glow. But they also had wisdom and discernment 10 times greater than all the other leading young men. We live in a world of inches. In athletics, we're talking about a tenth of a second separates first from fifth place. These guys were 10 times greater in wisdom, understanding, and favor of all the young men, the leading young men of Babylon, according to the king. And I believe it started by honoring God with their body. They were a living sacrifice, and the rest of Daniel's life was marked by absolute Conquest. He was more than a conqueror. And some people would say he became lion proof one bite at a time. <laughs> Very good. Jordan, a lot of people watching, myself included, I'll be honest, have tried diet after diet over the years and we failed. I've lost weight, I've gained weight, I've lost weight, I've gained weight. And I know that many of people that are watching have experienced the same thing. This is a real battle in, in my life, to be honest. So why will this one work when so many have failed? I believe this will work because it is God's plan for us to be healthy. I received this revelation at a evangelical crusade. I was in the car in India and the Lord spoke to me and he said, you need to look into the Bible and bring back Daniel's diet and start a plan that will allow the body of believers to unlock their health potential. We should be the healthiest people in the world. We serve the God that wrote the book. I'm just writing the book on 
a revolution that can happen in everyone's life. It's not easy, Jonathan, but it's simple. And every person that has tried it, every person has lost weight. I'm all ears right now. So you have gone back to the book of Daniel, which I've read, many people watching have read many times, and you believe the Lord's given you some real keys to making this work. Many people have talked about a Daniel diet, and I actually did research to determine what Daniel ate, what was pulse, and we know what water was. That's all he ate, pulse and water. And we found that by combining certain foods at certain times, it unlocks the ability to lose weight. People's skin looks better. One woman said, my friends were wondering what procedures I had on my face like four, five days into the 10 day diet. We monitored hundreds of people on this plan. We had a gentleman lose 25 pounds in 10 days. I was not overweight and lost 18 and a half pounds in 10 days. And I couldn't even put it back on. The 10 days are just the beginning, Jonathan. I found a secret that is almost unbelievable to me. We Americans eat not only the wrong foods, but we eat at the absolute wrong time. Well, in fact, we're, we're gonna get into it. We have to take a quick break. When we come back, Jordan's going to share diet insights straight from the Word of God. You don't wanna miss this. Here at Jewish Voice, we are dedicated to proclaiming the gospel. The good news that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah, to the Jew first and also to the nations. One way we do this is by providing life-saving medical help to some of the most impoverished and needy Jewish people in the world. Even more important than the physical relief our medical teams provide, it also opens the door for us to share God's love and the good news that Jesus is their true Messiah. Our volunteer medical professionals will be providing a clinic for eye surgery, glasses, dental procedures, and specialized medical treatments, all free of charge to thousands of men, women, and children, many of whom have never even seen a doctor or dentist. As we prepare to go, the only question remaining is, how many can we help? Time is of the essence, and your generous gift today can make you a key part of impacting the lives of the precious people of Israel's lost tribes. Will you help? We want to make an investment in your health. If to $40 or more, we will send you the latest book from New York Times bestselling author and natural health expert, Jordan Rubin, called The Maker's Diet Revolution. This breakthrough nutrition and diet guide is unlike any other. What makes it so unique is its Hebraic roots. It's entirely based on biblical principles from the book of Daniel. It combines the Bible's ancient wisdom with modern day science, and it focuses on your overall health, spirit, mind, and body. And if you call or click today, we'll also send you another one of Jordan's books, Live Beyond Organic. This informative book has answers to many of today's health challenges. It highlights a solid plan for changing your diet, improving your health, and it's full of healthy recipes and tips that can change your life. As an additional bonus, we want to send you our Jewish Voice Today magazine. It's a bi-monthly magazine that focuses on some really important topics pertaining to Israel, Bible prophecy, and the Jewish roots of your faith. Please call, click, or write now. And please be as generous as possible. When you respond, you'll be providing life-saving medical care to Jewish people in desperate need. And may God bless you for blessing the Jewish people. I'm back with New York Times best-selling author and health expert Jordan Rubin, who just wrote a breakthrough new book called The Maker's Diet Revolution. His claim, you can lose up to 14 pounds in just 10 days, even more. You told me about some who lost even more than 14 pounds. Absolutely, and that's just the beginning. While I believe if you follow the entire plan, the weight doesn't come back, there is a secret that I learned about that absolutely shocked me. You know what we say in America, breakfast is the most important meal yes. of the day. Eat like a king in the morning. Yeah, yeah, do you know who came up with that? A really big cereal company. <laughs> in the Bible, and even in the Middle East today, people barely eat in the morning. They sup. They grab a little piece of bread, dip it in olive oil, run out the door. They eat a pretty big meal in the middle of the day, but their biggest meal is at dinner. But it's not late. It's right before the sun goes down because they didn't have 
excess lighting indoors. You can imagine Abraham and Sarah uh, cozying up to a TV and eating some cookies. No, they didn't. They stopped about six. What I found out, Jonathan, is there is a ratio of the time during the day, the length of time we eat versus the length of time we cleanse or don't eat. And that ratio could be the most important thing about your health in general. That's fa I've never heard this before. So small in the morning. Or none. Or none. Coffee okay in the morning? You can, I mean, it's really what you put in coffee that's the problem, but you don't wanna eat anything substantive unless it's in a window. Boy, this, I, like I love this, this goes against window. everything you know, that we've does. heard that's, that's always for what so I, uh, long. Okay. come to bring. But here's the great thing. You could literally eat the same food, the same amount of food, but do it in a shorter period of time and you will lose weight and you'll be healthier because you're allowing your body to detoxify. There's a scripture in Ezekiel that calls the princes gluttons and sinners for feasting in the morning. We need to eat in a window. And guess what? When you start doing it, you realize I was never hungry for breakfast in the first place. They forced me to eat. Are you, me, that's how I feel. Are you in agreement with, with most that say late night eating is terrible? It's not terrible as long as it's inside that window. If you want to eat from four to 10, 10 is great. So you're saying eat, eat your meals. Don't spread your meals out th through, throughout the day. Like some say just small amounts grazing throughout the whole day. You're saying eat your meals within a window of time from when you from beginning to end. Yeah, first bite. I like 12 to 8. Sometimes it's 12 to 6. The more weight you need to lose, the more you want to detoxify or cleanse your body, shorten the window. But you can, here's the good news. No portions. As long as you eat healthy foods, you can eat as much as you want. When was the last time you really ate till you were full and didn't feel guilty and about I've it? And I've watched Jordan eat in my <laughs> home. He can eat. But you never put on weight. You lost 18 pounds, you told me. I, I didn't want to lose weight. I didn't need to. It's impossible not to almost. I mean, this is what we found. That's amazing. So it's the window of time, six hours to eight hours, right, out of a 24-hour period, and you're detoxing the rest of the, the rest time. The rest of the time. I have never heard. How many of you have heard this before? Raise your hand. There's about, what, there's three or four hands out of the whole audience. This, that, that is amazing. Now, your first book, Jordan, was The Maker's Diet. I, we... Uh, had a lot of people interested in that book and had you on many times. This is the Maker's Diet Revolution. The first one was a New York Times bestseller. How is the Maker's Diet Revolution different from the Maker's Diet? It's almost entirely different. Now the foundation of eat what God created for food and eat for food in a form that's healthy for the body, that's the same. Everything else is new revelation that I have received over the last few years and it's worked in a practical sense. Hundreds of people have tried this and as I mentioned the average person lost about 11 pounds in 10 days and then we teach you not only how to keep it off but to lose more. It's based on cleansing and building. We get it all wrong because we don't go back to the book and Jonathan when people did this the physical benefits were only part of the equation. Freedom from bondage addiction, spiritual awakening, and most of all, as the Bible says, when people follow this maker's diet revolution, starting with the 10-day Daniel diet, they receive wisdom, favor, and understanding that I believe is 10 times greater than those that don't know well, the Well, there's Lord. no doubt spirit, soul, and body are all interconnected. And if you want to be healthy in any of those areas, there's a connection. We have to be healthy in all. Now, let's talk about the food that's up here. You believe that meat is fine? You believe, I've seen you eat meat, red meat. You also have some real delicious things here that tie into the diet. Talk about what we're looking at here. Now the first 10 days we do pulse and water. So I give you a program where you're eating mostly raw fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds in a certain time window as we what talked about. What does pulse about. mean? Pulse is anything you can plant in the ground and it will reproduce. So okay. it's not just a seed, it's not a sprout. It could be a beet, could be a carrot, could be a berry. So we have defined that and we talk a lot about it in the Maker's Diet Revolution. Okay. Right here, this is a healthy chicken salad. This is guacamole. Avocado is one of the healthiest foods in the world. It has a lot of fat but it won't make you fat, it'll make you thin. It's wonderful. Can I eat this much on the diet? Absolutely. That, that's a Isn't pretty big help. But you want to hear something guacamole. interesting? You and I love down, guacamole. You could sit down to cookies, crackers, eat, 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 but no one's ever gorged on salmon and broccoli. Did you ever notice that? You just, your body tells <laughs> yes. you when to stop when you're eating good food. Yes. Now this smoothie is absolutely delicious. This is a turkey wrap. We use sprouted grain bread, which we believe is healthier, but it's also 
more similar to the bread in the Bible. How can everybody say bread's bad when Jesus was the bread of life? We want to teach people how to eat, when to eat, and they will never go back to their old life once they join the revolution. Well, it's working with a lot of people. We have a testimony and photos from Cecilia, I think her name is. So this is her before picture. If you can see that, this is her before picture. Now let's see her after. Wow. And, and, and is this 10 days? 10 days. Yeah, we asked this people to take their days. picture and send it in. Her hair got longer too. I mean, I forgot she... to mention that benefit. <laughs> really, this is in 10 days? 10 days. That's it, remarkable. And, and Jonathan, when I was in India sitting in the back of a car, driving home from a crusade on dusty old streets, God said, Jordan, I knew you didn't want to come here because I didn't. I don't like international travel. Uh, Olive eye with all that, as they say. Yes. Uh, God bless you for doing it. Wasn't my comfort zone, but God said, I'm going to give you revelation to bless people. And this is the first thing he told me. You will bring a modern version, a doable, simple version of the Daniel diet, and it will transform Listen to what lives. she said. I was stunned and amazed how God worked through this diet. I have dieted before, but never have I had such clarity of mind. I felt great. I got many, many compliments, and my skin lost a total of 10 pounds, which was not even a concern or desire for me. God proved his faithfulness during this cleanse and showed me once again of his complete love for me that he will never leave me or forsake me. Thank you for this opportunity. I mean, that, that's quite a testimony. Now talk about prayer in all this because prayer is an important component of this plan. Absolutely. Daniel ate pulse, drank water, and he prayed three times a day, as the Bible said, with his windows facing Jerusalem. This is how the other uh, colleagues of his caught him. They trapped him to try to get him taken down and out of power. They knew Daniel would pray because it says in God's word, Daniel prayed, flinging the doors open toward Jerusalem as he had done since he was a young man. So we ask you to not only eat a certain way, drink a certain way, but pray three times a day, set an alarm. We actually have recorded prayer calls with scripture so you can plug in to a community each and every day you do this. And that, I believe, is the most significant part. How would, great would it be to orient our schedule to God's plan? Whoop, time to pray. No matter what happened during the morning time, you pray at noon. Whatever happened in the afternoon, you pray in the evening. And it sets you on God's schedule. I've done it before. It works. Hey, there's so much more in this book that we haven't even covered. So Jordan is coming back next week and he's going to give us really useful tips for incorporating this diet into your life. In the meantime, you need to be sure to get yourself a copy of Jordan Rubin's latest book, The Maker's Diet Revolution. This book will definitely jumpstart your overall health. It'll help you to shed unwanted pounds and will transform your life for the better. We'll be right back. Here at Jewish Voice, we are dedicated to proclaiming the gospel, the good news that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah, to the Jew first and also to the nations. One way we do this is by providing life-saving medical help to some of the most impoverished and needy Jewish people in the world. Even more important than the physical relief our medical teams provide, it also opens the door for us to share God's love and the good news that Jesus is their true Messiah. Our volunteer medical professionals will be providing a clinic for eye surgery, glasses, dental procedures, and specialized medical treatments, all free of charge to thousands of men, women, and children, many of whom have never even seen a doctor or dentist. As we prepare to go, the only question remaining is, how many can we help? Time is of the essence, and your generous gift today can make you a key part of impacting the lives of the precious people of Israel's lost tribes. Will you help? We want to make an investment in your health. When you respond with a gift of $40 or more, we will send you the latest book from New York Times bestselling author and natural health expert, Jordan Rubin, called The Maker's Diet Revolution. This breakthrough nutrition and diet guide is unlike any other. What makes it so unique is its Hebraic roots. It's entirely based on biblical principles from the book of Daniel. It combines the Bible's ancient wisdom with modern day science, and it focuses on your overall health, spirit, mind, and body. And if you call or click today, we'll also send you another one of Jordan's books, Live Beyond Organic. 
This informative book has answers to many of today's health challenges. It highlights a solid plan for changing your diet, improving your health, and it's full of healthy recipes and tips that can change your life. As an additional bonus, we want to send you our Jewish Voice Today magazine. It's a bi-monthly magazine that focuses on some really important topics pertaining to Israel, Bible prophecy, and the Jewish roots of your faith. Please call, click, or write now. And please be as generous as possible. When you respond, you'll be providing life-saving medical care to Jewish people in desperate need. And may God bless you for blessing the Jewish people. Since 2010, we've been providing free medical clinics in Manipur, India, to the B'nai Menashe. These are the children of Menashe who are suffering in severe poverty and are desperate for help. Here's a closer look at our last outreach to the B'nai Menashe in Manipur, India. And we're here in a little town called Chirachampur in Manipur, India, which is in the way far northeastern quadrant up near Burma. We've brought 30 some odd healthcare professionals, doctors, nurses, dentists, and we've also hired about 150 local volunteers to help us set up a one week clinic in this hospital. Jewish Voice sent out over 30 medical professionals, support staff, and prayer volunteers to reach this lost tribe of Israel, lost to the world, but not to God. In our short time there, and with your help, Jewish Voice was able to reach more than 6,400 people with medical help and with the good news of Yeshua, Jesus, their Messiah. It's amazing to see how God can bring people all over from our diverse country on one trip to minister to people we don't know at our own expenses at times, time away from our family, but I don't think twice about it. There are so many things I can make symptomatically better, but I can't cure, I can't fix. So it was nice to help direct them to the one who could. While the Lord was using these dedicated doctors and nurses to bring physical healing to the people, he was also revealing himself as the great redeemer of the whole house of Israel. While the prayer room is voluntary to those who come for aid, it remains the busiest room in the clinic. Our prayer volunteers pray for the sick, stand with the burden, share the good news of the Jewish Messiah, Yeshua, to these wonderful people, and no one leaves untouched. I feel that this is taking part in prophecy and I feel so blessed to be a part of it, um, that we can be a part of living in prophecy, that the times that we are living in are so special because God is recalling his people back to himself and that not only spiritually but physically as well, that he's calling the people, Jewish people, tribes from all over the world back to Israel, but at the same time calling them spiritually back to himself and that's where we come in where we can share the good news of Yeshua with them and share that he has come as reigning king in their hearts, that they can receive that now as well as go back to Israel and that we can be a part in sharing that with them. A lot of people ask me why I do this. They say it's crazy when you could be in your comfortable bed, but I, I couldn't not do it. When you see the people's faces, when you've, when you've ministered to somebody or pulled a tooth that saved a life, or, or when you're at the exit gate and the little ladies come up and hug you and they're so blessed. You know, I can't not come. I'm compelled to come. If you're a doctor, if you're a nurse, if you're a dentist, if you're an eye specialist, I, there's, the need is so great. So please consider coming. We would love to have you. We would love to have you join us on one of our next medical outreaches. To volunteer, you can email us at outreach at jvmi.org. Again, you can email us at outreach at jvmi.org. Come with us and God will use you in a powerful, powerful way. You'll never be the same again. We'll be right back. Come with us to the land flowing with milk and honey. Jonathan Burness and his family want to extend a personal invitation to you to join them in Israel in 2014, November 29th through December 10th for the Jewish Voice 2014 Israel Tour. You'll experience a land filled with rich history and culture as you walk where Yeshua walked and watch the Bible come to life. 
you'll visit Jerusalem and the site of the ancient temple, the Sea of Galilee, Nazareth, and the Garden Tomb. While in the Holy Land, Jonathan Burness will also give you the opportunity to rededicate your marriage vows on the Sea of Galilee and he'll lead you in biblical teachings at historic locations you've read about in the Bible. Visit our website, www.jewishvoice.org or call 800-299-YESHUA right now for more information. And make plans to come with us to Israel. Since 1967, Jewish Voice has been dedicated to proclaiming the good news that Yeshua, Jesus, is Messiah and Savior to the Jew first and also to the nations. Now, one way that we do this is by helping some of the most impoverished and needy Jewish people in the world. We've been able to demonstrate God's love by providing these people with dental care, medical care, eye care, medicines, eyeglasses, even eye surgeries, all completely free of charge, but most importantly, we proclaim the gospel. And it's through your faithful support that we're able to make a difference in their lives. As our way of saying thank you, I'd like to send you Jordan Rubin's latest book, The Maker's Diet Revolution. People who have followed the biblical life transforming health plan in this book have experienced weight loss. They've recovered from chronic disease, uh, just like Jordan did from Crohn's disease, for example and they've experienced emotional and spiritual growth. This book will help improve the quality of your life, spirit, soul, and body. In addition, I also want you to have uh, another one of Jordan Rubin's books. It's called Live Beyond Organic. In today's day and age, the standard of what is considered healthy is continually changing, and it can be really confusing to navigate through it. In this book, which goes over and beyond just calorie counting, Jordan uses a biblical perspective to share different foods, drinks, and recipes. This is a great New Year's resolution that I'm taking on along with my family. And as an additional bonus, when you order these products, we'll give you a subscription to our Jewish Voice Today magazine. This is a bi-monthly magazine about some really important topics pertaining to Israel, Bible prophecy, and the Jewish roots of your faith. It's a great resource and I want to get it into your hands today. And remember, when you get these gifts by standing with us, your support will be used to help some of the most impoverished Jewish people in the world. Hey, by the way, we're on Facebook now. You can check us out by going to facebook.com slash Jewish Voice. And then be sure to like our page and stay up to date on everything happening here at Jewish Voice Ministries. Well, as I leave you today, I want to remind you, as I do in every program because it's so important, the Bible exhorts us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And we're told it's a benefit as we pray for Israel, for the Jewish people, they shall prosper that love thee. So if you want to prosper, pray for Israel. Well, until next time, this is Jonathan Bernis saying shalom and God bless you. Jewish Voice is made possible by the support of friends and partners like you.